Hey everyone and welcome to some new content from me. And I actually have a, uh, an idea for the content today of what I want to call this episode. And I just thought about it because, well, Dora is working out well for me right now. Uh, the title of this video is going to be how to, and simply put, how to win streak. I mean, it's not like I'm going to, you know, sit here and talk that I figured it all out and I know exactly what you need to do to have a win streak as I have my, you know, my little cat friend here. Hi, Katara. You know, maybe this should be part of your win streak too. You know, having having a pet or making sure that you have loved ones around. But uh, without further ado, I don't want to make this video take uh, too long anyway. Um, well, one thing I want to show you just so that you don't feel like I'm strictly speaking out of my ass without any knowledge. Um, I didn't have the best time in Dota like a few weeks ago. As you can see, there's a lot of losses. Um, but then I went on a vacation for a few days. Uh, for like five days and then I went on another short break to go and cast DPC and I want to show you what happened after this happened or like basically after this the time frame in terms of how many wins I accumulated and then I would like to talk a little bit about it to share my experience and to help you figure out a pattern that can maybe help you because I know it helps me so if we look from here on from like the sixth okay this is when I came back from my vacation at first. It's like some 50-50 stuff, but now it starts going like more green and then more green and more green. Like this page has like two losses and even these losses, I remember that if I played better, all these games can be wins and it's not very common that your whole page can be wins and you feel like they should be. And then if you go to the next page, it's basically like similar story. It's all green. And then the next page, you know, a couple of reds, but then more green again as you can see here. And I mean, now it's getting kind of a bit, little bit back to normal, but here, like these three pages, I basically gained like 600 MMR in the span of like five days, which is very high. Like that is a lot. So um, I made a couple of notes regarding this. So in my opinion, how to win streak is highly affected. Well, not only by your gameplay, but how focused you are, how try hard you are, are you willing to pick good heroes? Are you willing to give it an extra 10%? Uh, are you going to communicate? Do you feel focused? Are you angry? Are you going to tab out? Do you, are you going to tab out every five minutes to check an email or to write emails or to check Facebook or check Twitter? So I want to go on like a quick list from top to bottom where, in my opinion, how you should determine whether you should play or if you want to try to have the highest chance of winning, you should ask yourself a couple of questions. So in my opinion, before you go play, how do you feel? Do you feel energized? Do you feel like you want to try hard? Do you feel like you're going to go into the game and pick one of your best heroes to win? Or are you feeling ready to communicate? Are you ready to ping your items in terms of that you're ready or how much gold you need? Uh, are you ready to help other people? You know, Are you ready to see your teammate make a mistake and not blame him? Because if so, good. This is how you should feel. If you really want to play and you really want to win, then this is going to be your step one. Then in my opinion, something else you want to do is that you already have heroes in mind of the heroes that you want to play. Uh, maybe you're queuing one support role and a core role so that you already have heroes in mind for this core position, like three heroes, four heroes if you're carry, three heroes, four heroes if you're mid, and so on. Yeah, you know, I have my cat here. Moving forward, like... Do you feel focused? I already talked about it, but are you focused? Make sure that you don't tab out. Make sure that you're ready to play the game, like that you're hydrated, you have a bottle of water with you, that you had food before, that you have a snack, like you have a Snickers or a Twix bar or whatever, you know, that you're going to be basically just ready and energized. And then next up, if you feel angry, stop playing. I've had this before and I went on a huge lose streak. I was like... I was ranked 140 a couple weeks ago and Dota actually made me very angry throughout phases. Like I would always look at other people, not at myself, at least for a small period of time. I only do this when I play bad. Sometimes, you know, if I play bad and I'm in a bad mindset or a bad mood, then I start looking at other people and it's wrong. And if I do it, many of you do it too. Probably, I'm not pointing fingers here. 
But what I'm saying is, if you feel angry, stop playing. Take a step back. Remember, the one thing we always try to do is to look within ourselves and not at our teammates. We want to help our teammates. But most importantly, what's important for us is that we play well and that we try our best. Okay, so I want to, I want you to put yourself in the best situation to make this happen. So if you feel angry, I think you should stop playing or take a small break. Another tip I have is that if you've lost three or four games in a row, just stop playing for a little bit. Take a take a 20 minute break, 30 minute break or stop playing for the day or go watch some replays and just chill. You know, just just chill. Like if this if you guys are looking to gain MMR, then I can tell you that this video will help you a lot without showing you actual gameplay footage. And then lastly, in my opinion, one thing that is very important, apart from all the other things like your attitude, how focused you feel, how ready you are, if you're going to help your team, if you're not feeling angry, is that, again, you should play for yourself. Don't look at others. Play the game for you to win, for you to play well, and for you to enjoy. And that you have a good game in the game. Make sure that you value yourself very highly, no matter what role you play. And lastly, I want you to... First of all, look out for yourself, but try to enable your team while you do it. So if you have a pudge position four, try to make it work with an offlane hero that will enable the pudge or that, well, enables you to lane with a potential pudge, like an Enigma or a Viper, a Necrophos, etc. If you have a post five bounty hunter and you're, you're about to play carry, then maybe you need to play a carry that can lane fairly okay on its own, like a Weaver maybe, or a Necrophos, or a juggernaut, you know, just heroes that can self-sustain in the lane for a bit and then go jungle or so on, you know, like, don't go like a pudge anti-mage lane, you're gonna get kicked out minute two. Or don't go off lane with like, the guy picks pudge and then you go, hmm, he picked pudge, but I really wanna go into this game and I wanna play Night Stalker. You go pudge Night Stalker off lane, you're getting owned really hard. Um, yeah, so I hope that this little video on how to win streak or, you know, how to keep your PMA high, keep your win streak high, keep your win rate higher than usual, that some of these points can help you. If even just one or two are useful to you, then I'm happy. You know, please leave some feedback down below if you feel like maybe I've missed something or maybe I talked about something that's not true. And yeah, as always, thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys, you know, watching the content and saying nice things and leaving comments. And yeah, see you in the next one.